Shalom, first and foremost, I'd like to give all praise and glory and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, Bashem, Rechach, Kadash, double honors to my apostles and others, a great millstone who do well. Peace and salutation to the whole for elect, all here pushing this truth and sincerity to the water for which I do. We love you. We appreciate you through the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahushai, and Shalom. All right? The water for the apostles and the elders are teaching us and warning us of the things to come, warning us of the things that you see happening now that are spoken of, the prophecies that are written of in the Bible. All right? your brother Dawah Dodd here, and if you watch this now, and you're a so-called black, Native American, Latino man or woman, or you uh, may not look like a so-called black or Latino or Native American man or woman, and this perceives to be, um, this you perceive this to be uh, the truth, you may be an Israelite, but you guys are all Israelites, all right? You so-called blacks, Native American, Latinos, so the world ignorantly calls God, his name is Yahweh, which means I am, all right? And who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, his name is Yahweh Shai, which means he is the deliverer, all right? All right, and Salachia, Yahweh is, he is, for those of us uh, speaking of the Heavenly Father, he is, not I am, all right? He will refer to himself as I am, we will refer to him as he is, all right? So, um, so yeah, the title of this video is going to be, Are Moses and Jethro homos as well? Question mark, all right? I was watching the elder here um, from GMS Vegas sits down spot. All right, um, his t his uh, this is basically a, a response video, and um, he responded to Zoe Williams ignorantly suggesting King David and Jonathan were homosexuals. Uh, now one of the um, I guess uh, Zoe Williams was um the one that was calling King David and Jonathan homosexuals. But this is not the first time we've heard of these things. It's not the first time I've heard of it. Um, King David, King James, and whatnot, and the men of the Bible being called homosexuals. Now, he, I, I, now he went in on this dude, Zoe Williams. You know what I'm saying? He spoke about how if King David was around today, he'll be fucking shit up. All right? King David is more manlier than any man on this earth. What would he be doing being a, a homosexual? All right? And, and, you know, don't say, oh, well... So-called hard niggas is, is faggots too. No, you know what? Those are some faggot niggas. All right, those ain't hard dudes. All right, just because they might have heart, you know, don't make them real men. King David was a real man. Why? Because he followed the law, statutes, and, and um commandments of the heavenly Father. And one of the uh, law, statutes, and commandments that the Most High set up was if you see a, um a homosexual, you put them to death. <laughs> so we're gonna get that. All right. And um, his name is King David. And Dawadad Dawa Dawa in uh, Hebrew, right? I believe it's Dawadad, Dawa, um, which means beloved. Beloved is he. Beloved of the, of the Most High. All right? So the Most High doesn't love homosexuals. Why the fuck would he love Salahi? Why would he love King David if King David was a homosexual, man? <laughs> it says, and if you read the Bible, see, the thing is, y'all don't read the Bible. If you read the Bible, you see that the Heavenly Father was with David whatever, so, whithersoever he went at all times. So we'll get a couple of scriptures, man. All right. Um, let's get let's start off with uh, Leviticus chapter twenty, verse thirteen, and it says, "Shalakia," trying to highlight it. Well, you know what? Just read it. It says, "If a man also lie with mankind, as he lieth with a woman, how do you lie with a woman? You have sex with her." Both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. So King David was a, was an austere man. King David was the type of man that he didn't play no games. He didn't joke around, around too much. All right. Yeah, he had fun sometimes when the time was called for it. But for mostly, this, they, hey, they said he slew, uh, King Saul slew thousands to, or tens of thousands. And, um, and uh, King David slew hundreds of thousands, I believe. Or, or King Saul slew thousands and King David his tens of thousands. All right. So lucky if I got that wrong. But this is this is a mighty warrior, man. All right. This, this, this man, man, look, man, this is a real man we're talking about. There aren't no King Davids on this earth right now. All right. There's not men that even come close to King David. All right. Maybe spiritually, you know what I'm saying? But physically, we're all dirty, man. All right. King David, King David man, he, he was a... a uh, um, brotherly, very brotherly, very austere, and was about his business, man. <laughs> he 
He ruled, man, and he ruled with the sword. That man ruled with the sword, man. You you niggas walking around this earth today won't even be able to look at him without him putting his foot up your ass, man. So what the hell are y'all talking about? King David was homosexual. So um now we're gonna compare a scripture and um that usually these niggas go to, and we're gonna compare it with uh, another scripture that's in Exodus to ask that question is Moses and Jethro homos homosexuals as well. Alright, so that's gonna be I was already there when you first saw the video. Um this is first Samuel chapter twenty, I believe, verse let me see. Yeah, verse thirty one. It says, And as soon as the lad was gone, David arose out of a place toward the south and fell off, fell on his face to the ground, and bowed himself three times. And they kissed one another and wept one with another until David exceeded. And and Jonathan said to David, Go in peace, for as much as we have sworn both of us in the name of the Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai, saying, The Lord Yahweh Shem Yahushai be between me and thee, and between my seed and thy seed forever. And he arose and departed, and Jonathan went into the city. So now that first part in forty one, he's talking to John he bowed his head to Jonathan three times, and they kissed. Now that was a custom for men, and you see that nowadays nowadays between a lot of different um um tribes in the nation of Israel, mostly um like the Issacharites, which are the so called Mexicans. Um <clears throat> it's not a uncommon thing to see a father and son share a kiss. Not on the lips, but on the on the cheek. Uh, first time I seen that when I was when I wasn't in the truth, I kinda even when I was in the truth, I didn't you know, and I didn't read you know, the men, different men kissing and stuff, I kind of was like, damn, that's kind of weird, you know what I'm saying? But that's because I don't have full understanding of where that comes from. That custom comes from the Israelites. You see that um, the Italians do that. And you see a lot of, um, which, which the, most of the Italians, well, a lot of the Italians are our people. A lot of these men, they, you know, they kiss on the cheek, man, because that's a custom of the Israelites. All right. These other nations weren't doing that. Now you got so-called white man doing that shit. You got whole bunch of different other nations doing that. That was our custom because we were so brotherly and we loved each other so much. We were actually able to do things like that without being considered a homosexual. All right. So we're going to uh, go to another scripture, you know, where um, we, we uh, you know, reference Moses and Jethro. It's, uh, um, Exodus chapter 18, verse 7, right, I believe. Yeah, kind. So verse 7 says, And Moses went out to meet his father-in-law and did so and did obeisance and kissed him and they asked each other of their fear their welfare and they came into the tent because that was a custom man you know what i'm saying oh how you doing oh, you know what i'm saying kiss on the cheek you might even go to the other cheek you love him so much and you know what i'm saying you see even see like if you watch the goodfellas and sopranos and stuff like that you see these italian men right they will do shit like that man because that's the love that you have for your brother man you know what i'm saying that, that that's the things we do, and then and then he and they asked each other of their welfare. See, not like you niggas today, man. You niggas just see each other, you give you the, the nod, what's up? No, they 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 yo, how you like? Well, shit, even men do do that today. You know what I'm saying? You go up, but we give dap now. You know what I'm saying? You might give a handshake, and you be like, yo, what's going on? How you been, man? Damn, it's been a minute. You know, I miss you, man. You know what I'm saying? That's the same thing that these men were doing, but except for they were uh doing it with a lot more uh love, and they actually meant what they said. And they, they went straight away to ask, you know, how how you been? How have you been? You know what I'm saying? Because they cared, man. They they genuinely cared. You know what I'm saying? And, and they gave a kiss on the cheek. Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? So, I mean, really, that's it, man. That's really all I wanted to say. Um, You know, that's kind of all I really wanted to, you know, uh, bring out, man. You know what I'm saying? The, the men of the Bible are not homosexuals. You niggas are homosexuals, man. <laughs> you know? You know, you, you niggas are, are, are effeminate as hell. These men, you think these men, these men have multiple wives. These men went around, King David went around conquering shit, man. And conquering men, conquering nations of different nations and, and taking their women, man. And, and taking their women, man. You you wouldn't be able to call a, a man like that a homosexual. He'll fucking chop your goddamn head off, man. He would consider you men walking around here today as homosexuals. You got tattoos all over your goddamn body. Alright? You niggas got long ass hair and long ass dreads and shit looking like fucking bitches, man. These men will look at y'all niggas as faggots. 
wearing tight ass jeans and shit. You know, skinny jeans. Weirdos, man. Weird ass niggas. Different color here and green nigga. Bright green here. Niggas made their hair niggas make their hair blonde and shit. They was, yo, King David would have been like, yo, who are these fucking homosexuals, man? And he would probably put y'all niggas to death because he was the king. And and, and he was and beloved, which means he's followed the law, statutes, and commandments of the Heavenly Father. And he, yeah, he was a, he's a, a man in the flesh, so yeah, he went off sometimes. But for the most part, he kept his he kept his order, man, and his kingdom. So if he seen y'all niggas walking around with blonde hair and shit and long hair past his shoulders and whatnot, he'll probably put y'all niggas to death on sight. You you err not knowing the scriptures, man. So yeah, it causes y'all to make uh um blasphemies and 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 bear false witness, man, against the against these men. Yo, you guys are bugged out, man. I wouldn't want to be in your shoes in that day, man. All right. So that's pretty much all I had, you know. Um, you know, I brought this out, you know. Um, this was edifying. All right. I like to say um, double honest to the apostles, the elders. Um. Peace and citations to hopeful elect. You know, above all, uh, Barakat the Yahweh, Shemuel Shah, and Shalom.